If I was advising Brussels, I would learn the Ottoman to play a more active role in this process. Because if you're outside, you will you will not be able to exercise your influence on the rule setting, and it's much better to be inside to make your own influence there. The Silk Road concept is a very important master plan by the Chinese government in a way to promote trade and infrastructure development between Europe and Asia. It was first launched, I mean discussed in 2013 in Kazakhstan and Indonesia when the Chinese president Xi Jinping talked about how Europe and Asia should be connected through railway links, fiber link, as well as growing, um, growing tra uh, trade between the two regions. Because first of all, China would like to have a stronger say in the global affairs. The Silk Road concept is a very smart way to use the historical aura for modern diplomacy because the Silk Road has the ancient Silk Road, the land-based Silk Road from China all the way to Europe, but also the maritime Silk Road, which was in the Ming Dynasty in the 15th century. China used it to, across, to travel across the world as far as Africa. So these two historical um, foundations give the Chinese government a way in order to romanticize its international approach. So in a way, it's, it's also to show that you know, this silk roads or belt are very important win-win instruments for cooperating uh, between regions. And uh, I think in this way, the, the name is very symbolic. I think the foreign policy uh, so far the Chinese um, government has adhered is the non-interference policy as well as you know, the peaceful development rhetoric. But what we see in China is also more interested in to have a stronger say in international relations. So rather than agenda follower, China would like to be more agenda setting. And uh, I think China has so far been a kind of good boy in the international system, trying to play the game which has been set up by the post-war uh, infrastructure, such as in the Bretton Woods system, IMF, World Bank. Unfortunately for Chinese, the European response has been rather lukewarm. Um, I think, you know, a lot of European countries like um, England, I mean like the UK, Germany, France jumped on this um, ARIB wagon in order to become a founding member. And however, in Brussels, there's rather um, constrained response to the Silk Road project. I think partly it's Brussels is trying to um, have a more coherent foreign policy. And China is rather a challenging task for Brussels because what China has accelerated is the division between the European member states.